Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Chaos playthrough, where we have just destroyed the Empire, and we are now marching towards the Dwarves, being followed by some annoying beastmen back there who I'm also at war with. Um, but yeah, no, and we're burning our way through the Vampires while we're on our way there. Okay, so Kolek has levelled up. Um, what was I going for for Kolek? We were buffing him up himself, but we're now buffing up his army to an extent. Um, he's got a fairly tough army, though I'm going to be replacing these guys with um, some better ones soon. We're having a little bit of fun around here at the moment. Hmm. I'll tell you what, we're going to start moving down here and head here to drag these guys off. One of my exalted heroes has levelled up. Um, just obviously buffing up his uh, damage for the time being. And we can get a new tech going. Right, what do I want to get? Um, don't really use Chaos Knights. Um, that's not really a huge issue. That's not really a huge buff for us. I don't really use many of them. I do use some Forsaken. I, I assume will affect my Forsaken. Um... Actually, no, I don't use Forsaken. Hmm. Extra armor for my units. That's good. Extra melee attack for Chaos Knights. Uh, da, 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 da. And for Dragon Ogres will help. Uh. Let's grab this one to start with. Okay. Oh, actually, do I want to level you up or do we want to get somebody else? We need 18. So let's level you up because we are these guys are growing re really, really quickly, actually. You can push up to the top level of that one. So they're getting us a nice, solid income still. Um from those two and our, our constant pushing and raiding um, which is supplying us with free chaos armies now I don't necessarily need to be maintaining free chaos armies sorry uh, maintaining steady income because I am going to con constantly up my income by war by attacking these places by knocking these places over guys so you know that's not a huge worry to me about the actual cost of a lot of these guys uh, but what I might look at doing is still, I'm still going to look at getting another uh, Chaos Citadel up up there. Um, and then we might even want to move all of those Chaos Citadels down into the Aisling territory. Um, just move it down into the Aisling's territory so that we can all have them in what counts as a single region. If it doesn't count as a region up here, which we'll find out when we get one more. Because that won't be difficult, we'll just all drop down to Winterpyre and we'll set up around here does put us potentially on the front line, but we can always move them. Um, hmm. Let's wander towards here. Where is Kolek at the moment? Hmm. So Kolek can actually go and hit there. Nice easy kill for us. He's going to take the regen this time. Right, let's... You know, I can't double time you. Okay, they're a bit too close to each other annoyingly. Kolek's going to need to take a couple of turns to regen, but he's nice and protected there. Are you a god? He's leveled up again. I don't have chosen units in there, but I dare say I'm going to be... No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buff up his damage a bit more then. We've got all the different types of corruption vying around here now as we knock all of these places over, which is quite nice. Um, my main army's going to be back up and running shortly. Oh, they've got that. Could be tricky. They've got a Bray Herd there. 
I need to be very careful because they are sitting there in some sort of ambush stance and I am at war with them. And uh, that is quite a big force they've got there. Um, and so I do potentially want to be careful about that. Uh, we'll, we'll work out what to do about that shortly. Um, though I have lightning strike actually. So, oh, actually that's perfect. I have lightning strike so I can hit them individually so that's perfect actually um oh wow my guys are starting to push that's good okay let's have some fun then moving father and they call me rich i thought i had lightning strike Oh, that's an attack of opportunity. Destroy. Handsome and lethal. <laughs> it's an easy victory without lightning strike. Sacrifice them. Yeah, I'm gonna fight this one for fun. Get my, get my new guys a bit blooded, um, because it's not a perfect victory for us. This is, is quite a tough art. They've got lots of gores there. Do we have some unga of eight? No, they've got lots of gores here. They don't have any, um, yeah, so that, they've got a few ungores, but, uh, and they've, they're probably the scariest things there. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. I'm going to set up on this hill and then make them come into me. Um... I, I think that's enough magic. I don't have any reserves, however. Chaos so, halberds on the outer edges. The Magnificent. What? What? Undivided. These guys oh, around the middle. And this, this is a nice, solid line, he says, when they're tiny units. These guys can go together down here as a cavalry, and Diego can sit behind the line in the middle. <laughs> right, we're just going to move forward a little bit to start with. There you go, now they're moving. And we've got this little ridge line here, so we've got a nice ridge for them to charge up against us. Are they going to come? No, they're going to make me go into them, which is understandable to be fair. Reposition our line. What do the gods desire? Chaos sorcerer. That'll do it. I kind of wish I could make them all move at the same speed. There might even be a way of doing it. I'm just not aware of it, guys. If you do know a way of making them all move, and here it goes. Here's the charge. Um, I will force it from the god of magic. Push forwards. Oh, ho, ho, ho. good My job, Diego. Is... That. Get our charge on. You guys can flank right around. Oh! You can drop straight onto them. Oh no, you don't want to drop onto them. 
You want to attack him? I am Let's drop a bombardment into there. Let's drop a buff up for all these guys over here, actually. And actually, let's drop a bombardment. No, bombardment's going to be best there. You can get into them. Shattered them over there. You guys can get behind this main chunk. Ooh, what do we want? Oh, I wish I could get another one of these off. Eh, we're just going to use it on them because it's fun. <laughs> to be fair, it, while it was a waste, it was very fun to use because you saw what it did. Kill those doggies. It's my exalted hero just stood there the entire battle being lazy. I think he has. Oop, we sorcerer needs some support. Let's shred them. I think that did the job. Right now, I'm not even vaguely worried. None of my units are, are gonna eat, are even vaguely in danger here now, and I think we've got the mass route. So that was an incredibly solid victory. The only person who was even vaguely in danger there was my sorcerer. We lost four units. <laughs> wow. So yeah. I think, I think we did the job. These guys took a bit of damage. He did so much damage. And Diego only got 39 kills there, but you saw what his fire spells did. So, yeah, he was very, very useful in this battle. So, I just think he needs a bit of a, a defensive buff. Oh wow, I'd have been definitely been better fighting that myself. Moving father. I am Slanesh's Hmm. Ooh, he can get a manticore now. It's my exalted hero there. We'll bob buff that one up. So I want to get him a manticore, because that'll really help him stay alive. See, that is good, but the melee attack for the entire Lord's army, it does give you extra melee defence, actually. So it'll just make us a bit more grindy, because um, it gives us extra melee attack, enables poison attacks. Ooh, that's a tricky one to work out. You know what, I'm going to take that because of the extra defence to the army. It's, it's a little bit of an annoying one, but it, it kind of balances out because my guys will all be a bit more grindy. Um, and my guys are already really solidly armoured, so, you know. Hmm... Not quite sure when I moved Kolak there. <laughs> He's gonna level up. We're nicely positioned now. Um, the real issue with chaos is if you wanted to destroy the entire world, it becomes very, very hard. Sim for the very simple reason that they can just set up, you know, I'm raging around with three armies, I'm weakening them all, but they can just move in behind me constantly and recap places. It's dangerous for them doing it, 
but they, with a few lords, can just constantly recap behind you, which really isn't ideal. Um, as you can see, other people are flourishing in the ruins of what we've created, so um, it's not ideal. However, these guys expanding will help with some of that, so long as they don't mess it up completely. Right, now it's time for a quick come together to smash this army. Unleash chaos! Hail the slaughterer! Dominance! Advance of the mortals! Invade! Destroy! Attack! An easy one now. Ooh, that's nice. Gonna take the damage. I'll have this world. Are you a god? Move in! I am Mountain God. Nope, Cold has leveled up. We can get him a steed. Yeah, that's nice debuff. Archeon the Ever Chosen has leveled up. Root Marcher. <laughs> so he gets, oh wow, he gets magic, he gets nice defensive thing. That's nice. That's very nice. Um. Oh wow. So yeah, we're gonna go down that tree first because that's hugely beneficial. Um, it's probably what he's. It's tricky. He's a lot of people will start with him, and he is a very, very solid, very, very powerful lord. However, I don't necessarily agree that he's the best lord to start with because. I mean, I've still got him later on, but Sigvald, having that extra growth is really beneficial. Okay, Nagarond has declared war on me. They're potentially going to be invading the north. They are a lot more powerful than me. So if they come for me, that could be a problem, but I don't think that there's any chance of them coming for me yet. Um, plus, with three big, strong Chaos Hordes here, I'm really not that worried. Um... So, no, we'll go down that first tree. We do also want to go down the blue tree because that does have a reduction in cost as well and the extra growth. In fact, no, we'll still go down the blue tree, for, blue tree first we ever chosen. Simply for the extra horde growth. I didn't think they'd have anything there. Okay, we're going to siege here properly. Your exalted hero can get a little bit of a buff up. The spoilers come. Hmm. Moving. You can start heading that way. Diego can get himself a valiant steed. A beautiful decision. You see the, the, the chaos corruption vying with the uh, vampiric corruption in all of these regions um, is uh, making the land look interesting, that's for sure. So um, we're going to burn around, we're probably going to come together on Drakenhof. <coughs> and then we're going to start pressuring into the dwarves. Because that is the main thing here. I want to knock the dwarves over, then we're going to start, start smashing the elves. Hmm. I'm intrigued as to what Nagrond is going to do. If they're actually going to come for me. Um, or if they just went to war with me because they're so far away.
Misleon is not really a threat, but they are expanding. However, I suspect my Norsicans are going to start dealing with them um, relatively soon. In fact, let's set a couple of targets for my Norsicans. Ring ruin! Ring ruin! That's going to get them going there. What? Storm crusher, yeah. Take the growth again. Storm crusher. Here's a tricky one. I'm going to keep going up this one for the moment because the extra growth horde capacity is good and then I can get the cheaper army too. What? Witness my beauty. <laughs> okay, let's check on my guys in the north. nice chunk of extra cash for us as well. <clears throat> I do feel these Chaos Fortresses are a little OP because they make playing it, you know, because you can pretty much throw armies together. I could throw cheap armies together in them as well, um, which I suspect is how they're meant to be used. Whereas all I'm doing is hiding them up in the north to uh, you know, hiding them up in the north to uh, build up cash, set up, you know, loads of cash. Whereas I could be dropping them around the world as just ways to hold points. But I don't really need that because, you know, for each one of those fully done, I can theoretically have a pays for a, a high level chaos army. So it's an interesting one. I'm not necessarily sure I'm massively keen on the way it's currently set up. But, you know, um... I'm not complaining too much. <coughs> As I said, the other thing you can do is you could actually... I could theoretically change one of my my um, hordes down here into one as well. And then just move my lord to a new place. Here doesn't have walls. They're going to get battered. Movement range. Let's see what we've got at the moment. See, he has a surplus of 20. There are still quite a few things he can get, theoretically. Hmm. I'm going to start pushing up this one with him, actually, to get myself a uh, Doom Cannon! The dark power. Fool. Oh, yes. The spoilers come. <clears throat> I'm just gonna change up his army a little bit. You can get the top level manticore. Hmm. Oh, and you can be made immortal as well. <clears throat> so this is going quite well now, guys. They're, it's going fairly easily. Um, we're, we're battering them. They are still expanding, so that's not necessarily the best thing. But, you know, they're expanding behind us, but we're cutting the heart out of them. Um, then we're going to start battering the dwarfs. We'll burn our way back across the world. But part of me... As chaos, I don't think I really necessarily mind if they come back, simply because right now I'm just battering them about the place. I'm I'm forcing them for, to go from place to place. I'm causing chaos throughout the world. Um, as long as I can destroy the factions I need to destroy. So we'll work on the dwarves, we'll burn all the way down. 
and up. Now the dwarves potentially have territory down here as well. Once we've dealt with the dwarves, we're gonna go and we're gonna go and have a play in Old Flan. So they're all rallying their forces to go over there. Who are these grotesqueries? So we're going to go down this one because I want that chariot. I don't want to rebuild right in front of their army. Direct me, dark gods. It shall be. First things first, I'm gonna get rid of them. Two of these guys. Hmm. Two chosen Alberts, two chosen warriors. I can't get dragons in this army. I'm gonna get rid of a spore, chaos spore, because I'm not a fan of them. Two chosen great weapons. Puts us back up to twenty. That's the other thing I want. Oh, I can't get them because I need to level this up to max to get the Marauder Champions. And that'll do for the time being. And actually, right now, right now we can afford to pop out another horde, but that's because we're in a very interesting position. Cold is also going to go for this one to make himself a little bit more survivable. Now, theoretically, Kolek is a little bit vulnerable now, but even with his reduced forces, he is still incredibly powerful there, guys. So I'm really not that f that worried about him. Um, we'll see what my income's like once we're done, and we're potentially going to. Ooh, <laughs> you see, we're going to fight this. Because uh, I think the vampires expected, because I've got such a small force, it would be easy to take out. But I just want to have some fun here, guys. This isn't a serious battle. We'd probably have done better by not fighting it. But uh, by fighting it, I'm going to get to have some fun. Because, uh, well, let's be honest, guys. You can probably work out what's going to go on here. We're just going to charge into them, and we are going to uh, splat them. My only worry is for Cold here. He could get... Da they could do some damage to him. I love how fast these Dragon Ogres are. Let's cast that. Get our charge on. Kolek is going to push straight through for their lord. And you are going to pull up behind. You are going to get yourself a little guard unit, actually. This is why I left these guys around. They're his little defense. Drop the lightning there. Chaos 
sorcerer. My magic is ready. <laughs> Kolek is uh, making very short work, work of Helm and Ghost. Once he is gone, their they army is just sorcerer. going to crumble. I bring a tempest. I am the gods. Come on! Wow. <laughs> and he's down. And that's do we have another hero here somewhere? Not that I can see. Oh wow, they are struggling. Colette, you can get up there. Now they're all disintegrating. Colette's just gonna wander into there and batter things. So it's Glaive Guard, Grave Guard. You guys can charge back in. Clean magic! This world will die! The monsters remain your demise! They're just gonna hammer back into these guys. Stop, Soon we're gonna have another uh, spell to drop on these guys, which should help. Right in the middle there. And this, this is gonna. Pop. I didn't do too much there. I say, there's a nice little circle of dead people there. I'd have definitely done better autoing this, guys. At your command, Chaos Sorcerer. Moving. That said, we're still we're not suffering, you know. We are winning this. Ooh, you guys get out. You guys can break off the field, actually. Now they are definitely all going. Next time I have an easy auto resolve like that, guys, tell me to take it. And they're gone. Oh no, no, they've got some units up here still. You charge blocked. So I, I should not have thought that. I made that. Much worse. That said, you know, look how many kills my guys got there, and some of my guys definitely leveled up there. Um, wow, Cold did very badly uh, there, so you know, uh, that happens. Take the weapon strength buff. The key thing there is it didn't break our break our um, growth so you know our, our growing our, our growth there oh my god there's humans down there there is an empire territory still around down there which somebody else is sieging that's a good thing otherwise I would have had to go and do, I mean it's not the empire directly but it is one of the empire factions which means they need to be burnt and there is still potentially a stelia there are still potentially some human factions around here and around here and over in the old world uh, but not many left. You know, the Empire has fallen, which was my key goal. Okay, guys. We are going to be ending this one here. So, thank you very much for watching. We're going to keep pushing through the Vampires and into the Dwarves next session. Um, but other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I do hope that you have enjoyed this. Um, feel free to leave any comments comments um, in the comments obviously I do have a discord as well if you do want to join that 
Um, if you have enjoyed this, please do pop a like on and or give me a subscribe if you want to keep watching these or any of my other streams. It really does help me out, actually. Um, I do also have a Patreon going at the moment, though I'm not expecting anybody to throw anything towards there. I, um, and it's never going to be anything unique to that, because everybody who watches my channel will get access to everything, and I, I think you're all amazing for watching the stuff I make. So thank you very much for your time, guys.